title that's really putting a hampering on the U.S. economy, but not only that, but really beating down personal responsibility within the American <coughs> spirit. How do you think we, as younger students, can really persuade older generations that these ensnaring benefits aren't actually a benefit to the country as a whole? Yeah, I think that... <laughs> I like that because... <laughs> We were talking about moderation, and that's a very moderate way of expressing the fact that you guys have, have been stiffed by all these people who call themselves the greatest generation and all the rest of it. And you're absolutely, and you're absolutely right that, um, that, that, that uh, older generations, in effect, devoted themselves a, a lifestyle uh, and voted themselves a level of benefits that they weren't willing uh, to, to pay uh, basically the, the proper amount in, in uh, tax revenue for. And so you guys, uh, you guys are on the hook for it, and it's a real drag. And you put it in an extremely polite way. The impolite way uh, would be to swing by the seniors home and drag those guys out and, uh, <laughs> and uh, like hang them up from lampposts like they did to Mussolini or whatever. And, and if you, there's a, a guy called Albert Brooks who's a uh, filmmaker in Hollywood. And he wrote a very, uh, he wrote a, no a futuristic novel about America in the year 2030. Uh, and it's, uh, and it's, uh, he's not a conservative or anything, he's a, uh, he's a left-wing guy, basically, but it's, it has one thing that is kind of worryingly real, that in the year 2030, there were gangs of youths going around all the sort of uh, Elks Lodges and retirement homes, and when it's bingo night, they're basically jumping the old-timers in the parking lot <laughs> and, uh, and, and beating them up because, because the level of social security benefits, the, the level of health care benefits for retired baby boomers has basically crippled them. They're being taxed at 70% tax rates to support uh, these entitlements uh, for these. And, and you are right uh, that these people have to make their own provision. In the end, they have to make their own, uh, they have to be told that it's in, sometimes you've got to take one for the team. You've got to do something for the nation. And if you do it now, we can do it, we can do a graduated reduction in those entitlements. We can do a graduated reform in those entitlements, which will give you time to make alternative arrangements and all, uh, and all the rest of it. But in the end, you have to do something for your country. You have to make a sacrifice for your country. It's not, it's not enough to say, well, I paid into the system uh, and I want to get what's, what's coming to me. It's not, it's not enough. The country is on the line. The country is on the line. And you are on the line and your generation is on the line. And they have to do what's right. They have to do what's right. The, the present level of entitlements is just not sustainable, and they ha it's a moral argument. We were talking about language last night. Morality is on the side of people who say, there's no way this can be afforded, and you have to do what's right for the country.